All right, yeah, this come through email. It's been ages since we've done Tragically Hip, and yeah, we definitely need to do some more. But then, yeah, I think they sent like two. Definitely between two and four requests in the email. But yeah, the Tragically Hip, the Depression Suite. So yeah, let's go. Mexico. 
Well. Well, well, well. That's a lot to unpack. But yeah, that... I don't... Because on one hand, I've heard... Like, on one hand, it's the ingredients. Of, but I don't think I've ever heard them do a song quite like that. Now, granted, when I listen to Tragically Hip, it's more the kind of rockier stuff. But I don't remember, because I've heard the other side of them. And I love, like, Long Time Running and uh, was, um, Bob Cage and the tune. But this was, like... Yeah, I don't. This was like almost their stairway to heaven, or it reminded me of the Doors as well a bit. Like not actually the song itself, but the structure. Like when the Doors do like, um, well, like Riders on the Storm. Although that pretty much stays the same. But L.A. Woman, um, when the music's over, that's another one from them. Uh, yeah, Oasis with All Around the World, like that long epic, but Bohemian Rhapsody, like this is like their one of them, I feel. Because at first it was like, just great words, let's say that first, the words was like, yeah, they was great. And I was thinking, I wonder if this is around he, uh, when he got when he found out he had cancer, when he said, uh, are you going through something? And then the uh, chorus next, the third chorus or whatever was like, because I am too or something like that. So I thought, yeah, I wonder if that was around that time. But I just loved that. I love that question. Like, I don't know, that lyric just got me. I just thought it was such a great, because it's so simple, but then he he's one of them that has that ability to compare him to another Canadian, Norm, Norm Macdonald. Norm Macdonald just has that ability to kind of reduce something to such a simple thing that's so obvious that it's overlooked, and it's just genius to just kind of find that one little thing thing yeah and that's why that line was just great off oh, yeah but the whole words but then then it kind of got a little funky <clears throat> like with the backing the backing kind of and then it just went into like a parallel universe basically have to say as well i need to know i can't remember his name i know there's two gods i know god downey obviously but um, guitar player tragically hit not him Rob Baker I think he's got to go on one of our uh, on the um, underrated guitar players that solo he done was perfect just perfect like like what brian may says that he never wanted his solos to kind of he wanted his solos to to carry on this carry on the story i think is how he says it carry on the story of the song and i felt like that just was perfect it was just perfect not overdone like but just per everything was perfect about that solo. And I think that because I listen, he's got some of the greatest riffs in rock and roll history and kind of, well, people do, Canada knows. But the kind of rock and roll world does not appreciate him. Or, well, to be fair, or God Downey, but yeah, definitely not him as a guitar player. He's a great guitar player. That's why I love the like rock and roll stuff. I also, as well, I was thinking, God 
I don't know whether he does. He could have been. He could have played acoustic, and he might play acoustic on this track, on stage, because I know he likes to do that. Give himself a little break, but he. This is going to sound weird for anybody who kind of doesn't play an instrument and and sing to that, but like, like, I can hold a note playing a guitar and singing but take the guitar away i got i can't and gord downey has an ability to kind of sing as though he's playing as well like as if he's in control of the rhythm so he can he can do you know what i mean but like obviously he's like he just works so perfectly with the band like it he really to that's what i was thinking it's like he's like the surfer on the waves of them of the band like how a surfer is just perfect perfectly timed and in harmony with the wave that's what Gord Downey is like it's it's so perfect his voice and his melody just works just like I say as if he's playing every instrument too like as if he's that in control of the rhythm and, and music section to tally his voice up but yeah he just rides it perfectly this was a great track but like more because at first I was, I was like into the lyrics but then it kind of i become like it was weird because I was thinking I've, I know that there is this side of them but this tune was yeah I don't think I've heard them quite do something like this because yeah it it just kept going and going and and like it's with little switch ups and then the string and the like orchestra type thing coming t- yeah this was a tune but like i say it started off me thinking yeah this is a tune but then it kind of it become more of a experience of the actual structure of like the journey of the song but yeah, this was a great request. Like I say, I haven't done them for ages. And they are, I'd say, probably my most listened to band I've found through Reactions. It's got to be them or Soundgarden. Yeah, Pearl Jam's creeping up, actually. Alice in Chains. But Tragically Hip is probably tops all of them for the amount of I've listened to in my own time. Do you know what I mean? Um, and it's like I still do go for New Orleans is sinking, and oh Jesus, what's the other one? But I've uh yeah, they're not more. Then I I go to them when I haven't listened to them in a while now, but yeah, still Cordelia. Cordelia is probably my favourite. Actually, Highway Girl as well has come up. Highway Girl is just great. Throw rocks out a window, what could she do? If you throw enough rocks, one might get through. (laughs) Yeah. But yeah. This was, yeah, great tune. But yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet.